If he has been in a head-on collision with a truck and is engulfed in a horrible fireball, I'll dispatch another driver to you as soon as possible. Bye now. Hiya. Where's Lloyd? Oh, don't you start. What? Oh, ignore me. He's out on a call. Oh, charming. Meant to be meeting me for lunch. Well, he shouldn't be too long. Tell you what, why don't you sit yourself down and I'll make us a nice cup of tea. Yeah, go on then. <laughs> You fancy a sneaky chocolate biscuit? I'm on a diet. Why? To lose weight. Why do you think? But you don't need to diet. There's nothing of you. Oh, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. What? Well, I've been absolutely humiliated. No, I'm not flaming, all right. What the heck just happened? I think you just broke Steve and Lloyd's favourite chair. Oh, my God. What am I going to do? Do you love this thing? Mm. It was very comfortable. You're not helping, Michael. Biscuit. You broke the chair. The chair? Yeah. Steve and Lloyd love that chair. Yes, I know they do, Michelle. It's not really helping, are you? Well, have you had a go at trying to repair it? Michael's trying, but it's not looking good. What am I going to do? I don't know. I think of something fast because Lloyd just walked in. What? Alrighty then. Hello. <laughs> Are you all right? Yeah? You've been to the cab office? Not yet. No, I was going earlier, but then I got an airport run. I was supposed to take it to lunch, wasn't I? Hey, it's all right. No, it isn't, baby. How can I make it up to you? Well, you can promise not to kill me. What's going on? I've just remembered it. Need to get some up from I've got something to show you. Milan. You know, when you said you'd broken it, I thought maybe the arm had come off or something. Well, to be fair, it wasn't quite as bad as that at first, but I was trying to fix it. What, with a sledgehammer? No, look, it's all right, because I reckon I know where I was going wrong. You know, you're about as good at fixing things as you are at being a burglar. No offence. But your shift's only through, isn't it, mate? Why don't you jog on, and I'll see to this. You sure I can't help? No, mate, you've done enough already. Oh. Right. Bye, Michael. Bye. I'm really sorry. Oh, it's not your fault. Besides, it's happened before. Has it? Yeah, I only thought on it once, trying to swat a fly, fell, and broke the back off. What, and you fixed it? Well, actually, no, that was Steve. Look, I just... What is the point in paying Michael to come back off the sick if you're just going to send him home at the slightest twinge? It's not Michael that needs TLC. Well, how? Well, you should just scrap it. No, are you kidding? Let's get one on finance. Finance? Yeah. A recliner with a built-in back massager. Mm -hmm. Buy now, pay 2020. She doesn't get it, does she, mate? I mean, street cars without this chair. It's like salt without vinegar. It's like lager without lime. You drink lager without lime. It's like ant without deck. Oh. Pass me the... And the... Uh... <sighs> it's gonna be a big job, this. We're gonna need biscuits. Chocolate. You're lucky. Wow. For a pair of dozy lummoxes, you've really come up trumps today, boys. Dan. I think it looks better than I've ever seen it look. Well, Millie. You forgetting something? It's my bum that broke that in the first place. Oh, that's true. That is true. Uh -oh. It is true. True, true, true. Sir, you shall have the honour. Ah, Monsieur de Coup. <laughs> Shall we uh, smash a bottle of champagne, you know, like a maiden voice thing? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good as new. No, better. On the lower back. Oh, good work, partner. Mm -hmm. Ah, your turn. Oh. Ready then. Uh, you do know Eileen's due any minute. I reckon this calls for a celebratory pint. I'm in the chair, obviously. Eh, uh, um. I'm not drinking today. Ah, well, some of the time, then. Well, hang on. What about a pint of orange juice? Oh, look, leave him. He's happy where he is. <laughs> 